Okay, Talal, so here's what I did. I basically took all uh, numbers and just, uh, you don't need to go with big numbers on this, so I just did up to 29 and down to 38, and I multiplied all the numbers to get the products, right? So two times two equals four, three times three equals nine, 16, and so on. So no, nothing really magical there. Second thing I did was I took the sum of the same number series, right? So then it's two plus two equals four, three plus three equals six, four plus four equals eight, and so on. Then I ran the ratios for those numbers. So two, uh, times two divided by two plus two equals one, right? And then did that all the way through, and then you see this series of 0.8333, which I noticed is the first of, the, of, the, of a scale series, right? So that's, that was interesting to me as well. So showing up like musical ratios that I thought were interesting. Um, so then I looked at all those ratios, and then I decided to multiply them by degree references, just like we did in the music paper. So basically 330, right, 360, right, degrees would be the first one because it had a ratio of one. This was the sum divided by the product, right? Then, then that result multiplied by 360 degrees. So the first one's 360. The second one, you know, so three, uh, three times three versus three plus three is 240 degrees, then 180 degrees, then 144, then 120, and 102.86. What I noticed is something very interesting. First of all, 360 degrees, of course, gives me an arc uh, of zero, so it's a circle, right? The next one is an arc of 60 degrees from 180, back from our, our paper that was on musical uh, geometry. So that's giving us a hexagon. The next one is giving us a line, right? And then the next one's giving us a decagon, Right, so this was the same arcs for decagon. This is the arc of a triangle, right, 120. So that's going to be 60 degree arc uh, from uh, from basically it's the point of a triangle at 120. Then 102.86 is giving me a heptagon, right. Then 90 degrees is giving me a square, right, because it goes into 364 times, right. Then 80 degrees is giving me. Uh, something in between. So it comes out to 4.5. Then I've got 72 degrees, which is giving me a pentagon. Then I've got 65, which is giving me 5.5. Then I've got 60, which is giving me a hexagon again. Then I've got 55, which is giving me 6.5. Then 51.429, uh, it's actually 285, is giving me a heptagon again. Then 48 is giving me seven and a half. Then 45 is giving me an octagon arc, and so on, all the way through. Uh, fascinating. Basically, it's giving me all the geometry, so there's a geometric relationship and a musical relationship for all of the numbers between their sum and their products. This is going to be our best paper yet. Thanks. Bye-bye.